Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. And you know what time it is? It's time for February Favorites, the video where I get to share with you all the skincare and beauty products that have made a big impression on me this month, and I've just been loving them. And you know, February is a short month. It always is. So you will not be surprised when I say this past month went by really, really fast. But honestly, I don't know what January was like for you, but for me personally, January was like, the longest month oh my gosh it was painfully slow so February just like zipped by in comparison and I liked that actually it's been a good month but I actually have lots of really cool and exciting products to share with you this month I've got some K beauty I've got some J beauty I've got some Western products that I really can't wait to share with you so if you guys are also impatient to get started give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started <music> All right, so first up is a new product from the Inkey list. This is the Succinic Acid Acne Treatment. You know, I've said it many times, I'm not a really big fan of spot treatments. I've just, you know, not had very good experiences with them in the past. I mean, I remember being a teenager and using like benzyl peroxide spot treatments, the ones that bleach your towels, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just like really icky and they can really dry out your skin. They're effective, but they're pretty intense, right? And, um, you know, throughout the years, I've tried lots of different spot, spot treatments that maybe yeah, dry out my skin or irritate it. You know, they make the pimple look a lot worse and a lot more raw and red. With sensitive skin, it can be tricky to strike the right balance between effective and yet gentle. But that's how I feel about this little spot treatment. It is effective, but it is gentle. And I'm particularly really a fan of the combination of the acne fighters in this. So we have 2% of the star ingredient, succinic acid, but we also have 2% of sulfur powder. Another ingredient that is really good at kind of helping to sort of flatten out pimples, either bring them to a head or just kind of help them um, flatten out. And we also have 1% of salicylic acid, a really great BHA exfoliant that can get inside of the pore, get deeper in inside of the pore and really help clear out all those dead skin cells and really kind of help, you know, clear up that pimple. And I think all three of these acne fighters coming together is the secret sauce to this because this works so good, so good. So this is interesting because it's green. I, <laughs> I like, I get very, I'm still so entertained by that. I've used this so many times and yet I'm like, it's green. You know, it's like skin entertainment, but um, rest assured, it doesn't make your skin green or leave it like tinted or anything like that. It does um, absorb and dry clear. And it is a really nice kind of textured spot treatment. It's like a really light cream and it absorbs really quickly and it doesn't feel weird on the skin. So this is something that actually layers into your skincare routine really effectively. Um, you know, putting this on right before moisturizer or even if you wanted to put makeup on top of this, it just doesn't have one of those weird like sticky textures or really thick kind of pasty textures. I just find it really easy to use. And oh man, this works so effectively. I've had the opportunity to use this on a couple of pimples now. I did talk about this earlier in the month. I think I talked about this in my Valentine's Day video because I was like super crushing on this like immediately after using it, but I've used it on a couple of other pimples since then. And it is like time after time after time, it makes those pimples come up to a head. <laughs> I'm like, because you know, when you get a pimple, it's like an emergency and you just want to figure out what is the most effective way to get rid of this, you know what I mean, without causing a lot of damage? And this spot treatment has been really great at really speeding up the pimple, you know, helping it come up to a head so you can drain it with a pimple patch or kind of helping it to flatten back down. But it is not as aggressive as it is on your pimple, it's still so gentle on the skin. There's no drying alcohols in here or like super harsh concentration of ingredients, you know what I mean? It's still very kind to my sensitive skin and it's never kind of made the area peely or dried out or anything like that. I've just been really impressed. It's been super duper reliable. And I mean, at I think it's about like $9.00. It's so stinking affordable. Like I wholeheartedly recommend it if you guys are looking for a good, effective, but gentle spot treatment that's not gonna break the bank. You know what? 
this is an excellent option. Next up is the Beauty of Joseon Ginseng Essence Water. Now you may have seen my in-depth review on this earlier in February, uh, my video, my favorite uh, Korean skincare ingredients video. Now just the big transparency warning, as you may know, um, the products from Beauty of Joseon in that video were sponsored. So that's actually how I got this this product. It was through that sponsorship with the brand. I am no longer sponsored by them. That was just like a one video type of deal. But I've just been reaching for this product all month long, like way past filming that video. It just felt really strange not to talk about it in my favorites for the month. So I just kind of wanted to let you know where my affiliation was with that and, and where we're at now. The standout kind of element to this product is that it's really kind of a two-in-one. It really kind of brings the best benefits of a toner and the best benefits of an essence. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, especially my essence content, you know the first thing I'll always say is essences are not toners. And yet here is that rare product where I would actually say you could use this like a toner and an essence. It really does both really, really well, which is rare for, for true two-in-one products because they usually fail in one of those areas or they just don't do quite as well. This deeply hydrates the skin like a toner would. This dives in deep, super hydrating. It's got a great texture too. If you like to do a couple of layers of toner, this works for that because it absorbs really quickly. It's really light. Not only does it hydrate, but I actually feel like there's like a calming element to this too. You wouldn't think that this this product would bring soothing because ginseng isn't really known for soothing the skin, but this has been formulated with some other things that really do seem to bring a lot of relief to the skin, especially if you suffer from, you know, dehydration induced sensitivity. So that was like an extra bonus I was not expecting from this product. Now, it really does work well if you want to use this just purely to hydrate your skin. But like I said, it also has essence-like benefits. Essences really boost your skincare routine. They bring some visible benefits into your skin. They don't just hydrate alone. And this product uh, combines ginseng with niacinamide. So 80% of ginseng root water. Ginseng is a really great antioxidant. Um, so it's very protective for your skin. It's a great well aging ingredient for every age, really, because it's just very protective for your skin. But ginseng, you know, the the kind of visual benefit that I get from lots of different ginseng products I've tried throughout the years, I always like describe it like, you know when you work out or maybe you were like running around or something, right? And you just got like your heart started racing a little bit and you feel really good. Maybe you're a little bit sweaty, but you look in the mirror and you know, underneath all that sweat, you see this really healthy glow, like that really rosy, healthy, luminous, bright glow to just your overall face and skin. You know, you just look so healthy. That's the benefit ginseng brings to your complexion. It's not really going to help with like hyperpigmentation, but it's just going to make you look incredibly healthy and lit from within. But when you combine it with 2% of niacinamide, that's what's in this product, that's when you get the effect of brightening for hyperpigmentation and an uneven skin tone. So it's actually a really nice combination to really brighten up your skin in a meaningful way. And I've noticed that with this product. So it's like hydration, calming, soothing, saving steps, and brightening up the skin. Like this really packs a punch in the skincare routine. So next up is the First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream. Now I'm a regular Tretinoin user, so I'm happy with my Tretinoin. I just can't put it around my eyes, but I kind of want to because I do want a collagen stimulating ingredient in my eye area. And that's where the First Aid Beauty Retinol Eye Cream comes in because I've been really curious about getting a specifically formulated retinol eye product into my routine. And that's really the key here. If you are thinking you want collagen stimulation, but you're a little bit worried about irritation, you gotta get something that's specifically formulated for the eye area, because it's just gonna be gentler. This is not using a super high percentage of retinol like you would put on the rest of your face. 
this is a lot lower percentage, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be effective. It just means it's not going to like burn your eyelids off. But I've been really intrigued by the formulation of this cream because the ingredients that they've included, I just think is really smart, even just beyond the retinol, because they've definitely included lots of barrier supportive ingredients, which are essential for your skin at any time, but definitely essential if you're going to be using an ingredient like retinol, which does have the potential to make your skin make be a little bit drier it makes sense to counteract that with really gorgeous barrier supportive ingredients and you know the holy trinity of barrier supportive ingredients is ceramides cholesterol fat, fatty acids and we have all three of those in this eye cream which i just think is brilliant but this just really has a lot of the ingredients that i personally like to see in eye cream products like peptides. This has palmitoyl tripeptide 1, which is a great peptide for stimulating collagen production, so great match with the um, with the retinol. This also has caffeine, and I've loved caffeine in eye products because it's got a great depuffing ability to it, so if you get puffy under eyes, but it also can help with dark um, under eye circles because caffeine really helps to increase the blood flow so it can really help with darkness underneath your eyes I like the texture of this too. I find it um, quite elegant and actually it reminds me of one of my favorite eye creams the Claire's fundamental nourishing eye butter, which I just emptied like my last tube, I don't have a backup and I'm missing it so much. I love that. Um, and this has a lot of the same qualities of that texture because it's creamy and it's moisturizing and it's plumping, but it's still very light. Now, gauging the results from an eye cream is really difficult because this is one of those types of products you really got to be patient with and invest your time and consistency with because it does take a long time to see results from an eye cream, at least in my experience. So I do like to do like more in-depth type of reviews once I've like at least finished one tube. So I definitely owe you guys a, an update when this is empty, but so far, I can tell you, I do think that this is working really nicely. I think that this does brighten the under eye area. Everybody's darkness or dark under eye circles are a little bit different, so I can't guarantee it will work for you, but it does seem to be working really nicely for me. So far, I'm happy with it. I do like the texture. I think it's performing really nicely. It's easy to use and it's not irritating at all. By the way, I just use this at nighttime, so once a day at night, and then I, I use a non-retinal eye cream in the morning. I just feel like putting it on twice a day might be too much. The other thing I want you to know about this product, like I can't not mention it, is this is really expensive, at least in my opinion. This retails for $44, and I was really shocked to find that out because I didn't pay for this. Uh, I got this in a PR package from First Aid Beauty, and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I've been wanting a retinal eye cream for a long time, and I tried it out, and I was really happy with it, and I've just kept it in my routine for close to two months now I've been using this. It's been, a, it's been a fair amount of time and I really do enjoy it. And I was shocked when I found out how much it costs. I thought it was probably like 25 bucks, right? 44. Yeah, that's pretty expensive. I mean, the ingredients, super compelling, right? So far, I'm really happy with this. Like I said, I owe you a review when this is completely empty. And I'll let you know at that point in time if it's worth purchasing, um, if I wanna keep it around in my routine. I think that if it gives me good results, like I said, we'll see. We've still got a little ways to go with this tube. If I like the results that I'm seeing with this, I think I might stick with a product like this um, and I would pay the money for it because these types of ingredients, you know, retinol, which can give you really wow types of benefits, I think they're worth investing in if you find the right product. So it could be worth it. Um, but so far, like I said, it's a February favorite and I've been really liking uh, having it around in my skincare basket. You know, this next product that I'm gonna talk about, I have been wanting to try this probably for about like years now. Um, I've been aware of it. It's super duper popular, cult classic, but for whatever reason, I just haven't gotten it. It just wasn't in the cards. I didn't wanna pay for it. It was like too expensive, or maybe um, I just had too much stuff at home or it was out of stock whatever. I was at Target um, back in January and I'm like, oh my God, my chin is so itchy and so irritated. And I saw this product and I was like, you know what? 
I don't care. I'm buying it. I want to see what this can do for my skin. And the product is the La Roche Posay Cicaplast Balm B5. Now, I've talked about this in so many videos this past month. You knew it was going to be a February favorite. I won't bore you to tears with this one. I won't spend a ton of time on it because you're probably very familiar with how much I love this already. This has really gorgeous healing powers. It combines metacasticide with 5% of PAMP. And also, it's not only soothing to irritated skin, but it's also very healing to the moisture barrier because panthenol is very supportive um, to your moisture barrier and your lipid layer. So that actually makes it a really good choice for dry or dehydrated skin um, because it really is going to help strengthen the skin and soothe the irritation. And the texture is very um, interesting because I always say this kind of looks like a sunscreen and it kind of spreads like a sunscreen on the face too. It is kind of like a thick, creamy type of texture, but it doesn't feel thick on the skin once it's absorbed. It actually absorbs into a really nice protective layer that's not heavy. Really good occlusivity on this, and I think that's why not only was I using this to kind of help heal the irritation around my mouth, but I actually started just using this all over my face in the really extreme temperatures when I would go outside with my dog, even for just like the three minutes that we were out, because that's like the safe limit to be outside, right? We couldn't really go for walks, but the wind was just like whipping up my face or it's just so icy cold and it just, my skin was hurting, you know what I mean? Having a layer of something like this on, super occlusive and protective was really helpful to really kind of like, um, mitigate like any kind of more damage that could be done to my skin as I was kind of helping my skin to heal up, right? So this was just really great. I've been using it like a sleeping pack. I've been using it like a moisturizer. Um, if I'm getting a little bit of mask irritation, I just put it around my chin area. It works on chapped lips. You can use this like, it's a Sika cream. It's multi-purpose. You can just use it in any areas that need healing, right? And this is just so multi-purpose. It's so fantastic. It's been a winter staple. I think it will continue to be a staple in my, my skincare routine, especially as something really reliable for irritated, sensitive, and dehydrated skin. You know, count me converted. I'm a fan of this and I don't regret the purchase at all. And next up is another product I've been raving about a lot this month, so it should be no surprise to be in my favorites video. It is the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV. And just like many of you guys out there, I think, you know, I've been on my sunscreen quest ever since Purito and Keep Cool bit the dust a couple of months ago. I've been hunting for new sunscreens. And what I find really unique about this is it's a combination of chemical and mineral sunscreen filters um, and so really it's kind of I say it's the best of both worlds because you get the photo stability of like the mineral filters but you get the elegance and the non-white cast of the chemical filters so this uses zinc and titanium dioxide and then it also has octinoate tinosorb s and uvinyl a plus and I like the texture too because it's just super light it's super light now I've been wearing the really thick layers because it's been so cold. It's just so extreme outside. So I've just been putting every protective layer I possibly can onto my face. And I will tell you, as much as I like a thick, creamy sunscreen, when I've got like thick layers of moisturizer, I've got like a thick layer of the La Roche Posay cream on top of that, I don't want another thick layer of sunscreen. And so this is actually really interesting because it's kind of a I mean, they call it a gel, and I guess that, that that's a really good uh, description of the texture. It is a very gel type of consistency. It spreads really thinly across the skin. It actually feels kind of watery and hydrating. That might be where the mermaid comes in, right, because it feels watery. Um, and it, it absorbs really quickly and dries down really quickly, which is crucial if you want to put some makeup on top of that sunscreen. You need it to dry down fast. Another area where the mermaid might come into play is in the finish. Um, as I told you guys in my um, video where I did the real in-depth review of this, my hybrid sunscreens video, Canmake is a cosmetics company. They really only make makeup products and then they just happen to have these sunscreens, but they do sell them and market them as your sun protection and your makeup base. So this actually does have a glass skin dewy shiny finish to it when it when it's um, settled onto the skin. So this may not be for everybody. I think it looks great with or without makeup, but I'm a big fan 
of shininess, <laughs> of dewiness, of glossiness. I like that. Um, I've embraced that on my skin, but it's not going to work for everybody, right? So big kind of warning on that one. There is like a very interesting finish to this, but if you're, you know, trying to go hashtag, you know, glass skin goals, this could be a really quick and easy way to get there. And this just feels comfortable on the skin. I sometimes can react to zinc. It can um, make my skin feel a little dry and tight. I didn't react to this one, which was great. It feels super comfortable, really breathable, just a great everyday sunscreen that was really easy for me to reapply and worked fantastically alone, but also underneath makeup. I'm just a fan of it. You know what I mean? When I find a sunscreen that doesn't bother my skin, I can wear it. And at the end of the day, I'm not like, oh my God, that sunscreen, I can just feel it on my face, right? This isn't like that. This is the one that you can forget that you are wearing. And I love that. This may not be my choice for summertime when I'm sweating and stuff, just because it is such a gel, watery, thin type of sunscreen, and it is not at all sweat resistant, right? This may not be that type of sunscreen, but for right now, like I said, it's the one I've been reaching for over and over and over again. So I hope you guys enjoyed my picks for this month, and I'm always curious to know what were some of your favorite skincare and beauty products from the month. So let me know in the comment box below. February just went by super duper fast. Like 2021 is happening. Like we are nearly in the third month of 2021. Like it, it's happening. It is, it is going by. And you know, I do have high hopes for this year. I feel very positively about it. I know not everybody does, but I just personally do. And with the time passing as fast as it did this past month, I just can't help but to reflect on like, time is a gift. You know what I mean? Whether that time is happening in quarantine or lockdowns or in the middle of a global pandemic or whatever, you know, personal challenges that you may be facing right now that have nothing to do with COVID, right? I mean, time is a gift and I don't think that we always think about it that way. I know I don't always think of it that way. Um, but I've just kind of been really feeling that with uh, the, with the way that the world has been for the last year. Time is definitely a gift and, um, don't let it pass you by. Don't waste it. Take advantage of every moment that you are given, um, and really make the most of it as much as you possibly can and, and however you can, right? Um, definitely it's a gift and we shouldn't take it for granted. Okay. So enough of that. Um, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. If you can't wait to see me in the next video, but maybe you did not hit the subscribe button yet, please do consider subscribing to my channel before you go. I do release two new skincare focused products every single week. Turn on notifications and then you'll never be out of the loop when I post the new videos throughout the week. I hope you guys are healthy, happy, and safe wherever you are in the world. And I can't wait to talk to you soon. Bye.